Hello guys, good morning. My name is Rafael. I'm here today to talk a little bit about uh, the DJI Mavic Pro drone. Um, I have mine here. I bought this drone in July uh, 2017 online from a Dutch store. Um, I was flying the drone quite often. I was happy, delighted to have some aerial footage to you know, compose my videos and all of that. Few weeks, few weekends ago, probably three, four weekends ago, went to a friend's house here in Dublin, and flew the drone uh, from his balcony, and had some great shots. But when I was landing, you know, the balcony was very small. Uh, the propellers touched the the wall, and the drone flipped upside down. I thought there was no major issue about that. As I could see, the drone, physically speaking, it was alright, nothing broken. And I flew the drone. I think on the day after, it was working well. So, fine. But last weekend I went to Wicklow, uh, one of the counties in, in Ireland, uh, with some friends for a spin and decided to fly the drone to get some you know, nice shots. Um, I noticed that the gimbal was very shaky and the images on the screen of my phone was, they, they were shaking as well. Uh, I landed the drone to see if there was something stuck on the gimbal. I couldn't see anything, you know, physically see anything. I went on Google to see to check up if if someone else had a problem similar problem and i found out that uh, usually it happens after crashes so I, the only thing i could think of was the crash i had probably on the week or two weeks before this episode um insistently i tried to fly the drone again to see if it was going to show me the same problems and the same message there's this message saying um, gimbal motor overload on your DJI app. Um, so I was a bit upset, decided to land and got back home, googled a few times to see uh, how to sort out the problems and uh, I couldn't, couldn't think of anything else because it was apparently a physical problem inside the gimbal or on the motherboard. So I decided to contact, uh, actually first of all I decided to look for assistance in, in Ireland so I could have it fixed and I found this company called um, sorry here called the Electronic Partners they are not um, official uh, repair center of DJI but they would fix that and they are going to charge me something around 120 euros I said okay fair enough like given the price of the drone 120 euros quite cheap but then I thought that my drone is still under the warranty I said maybe I should speak straight to the shop where I bought it from. So I spoke to them in Netherlands, they said, oh, you can send the drone over and we'll forward to DJI. So given that, I said, you know what, I'm going to speak straight to DJI. So I did that uh, and I received an email from them uh, guiding me to a website, DJI website, where they have the online support. So the website is this one, you won't be able to see that probably on the screen because it's too small um, but there are six icons here one saying online repair center sorry online repair request booking for quick service repair progress inquire my case accessory price inquire recommended service centers um, so you should choose first online repair request it's going to ask you your region your country because there are not many repair centers of DJI around the world as you probably know, that's a Chinese company uh, in Brazil, where I come from. There's only one repair center in the south of the country. In Europe, where I am at the moment, there are three or four. Uh, so that's why I chose Netherlands, actually, because the closest of Ireland, maybe also because actually it's the country where I bought it from. Um, so I chose uh, Ireland, of course, Europe, and it diverted me to another screen where it asked me the model of the drone and I selected uh, Mavic Pro and it diverted me to another screen with few options of problems and I selected a uh, gimbal motor overload and it guided me again to another screen with the online support. So I spoke to this guy, Alan, if I'm not mistaken, he was very helpful to me yesterday, thanks Alan. Uh, he tried basically troubleshooting the, the, the drone, you know, to see if he could fix the drone with some uh, simple maneuvers. So there are two things you should try with your drone. Oh, sorry, two things you should try with your drone in case it happens before you send to any repair center before you freak out. Um, it's pretty much about calibration. 
The first one is calibration of IMU. I'll put the menu of that here because I, I can't remember. But you find that on your DJI app on your phone. You should connect the phone to the drone. Keep the arms closed as they asked me to do. Keep your battery on, of course. Switch on everything. Connect the drone to the, to the app. And then this um, calibration will ask you to put the drone in different positions like this, like this, and all the positions possible. And then it will calibrate your uh, IMU. I tried that three times, didn't work out, didn't sort out my gimbal problem. So Alan asked me to do another calibration, which is the calibration of the gimbal. So pretty much on your DJ app, you're going to find that as well. Uh, and when you start doing the calibration of the gimbal, you should put it on or the drone on a flat surface to do that. And when I reached like 26, 27 percent, I saw the camera moving sideways. Uh, probably it was calibrating the x-axis. And when you it was try trying to calibrate the y-axis, um, it stuck in 31 percent and failed. So I tried that twice, three times didn't work out. So Alan notes that there was an issue and I should send the drone to the repair center. Uh, well, next step is send the drone to the repair center. At some stage on the whole process, uh, I can't remember actually when uh, the, the website is going to ask you the serial number of your drone. So if you take out the battery, you're going to see this QR code here and there's a big um, code with probably 10, 12 digits or if not more SN and some letters and, and numbers. So you need to input that on the website so they can track back your drone. Um, well, finally, uh, I'm going to send the drone to um, DJI Netherlands. So uh, they're going to send one email to you with some um, shipment labels. Uh, UPS is the company responsible for delivering the drones, transporting the drone for me. So. I print out the shipment label here. I think it's for free. I suppose uh, I can just go to UPS and deliver my, my drone so they can send it to DJI or else I can arrange a, 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 a collection in my house if I want to. Um, and you print out your, your kind of receipt here as well. So they can sign and just you know to, to ensure you have something, some documents that you sent your, your drone for repairment. Um, yeah, these are the, the troubleshooters you should try with your drone. That's what happened to mine. I'm a bit disappointed because it's, it's quite new and I was enjoying myself with the drone. I was getting actually very good on that. But a very simple thing like fucked up my drone. Uh, be careful with yours. Um, if it happens, if you have also this uh, gimbal motor overload a message on your screen, on the screen of your, your phone, try those troubleshootings and if not, try a proper uh, repair center, a TGI repair center. Uh, mine is under warranty, so I believe they're going to fix that for free. Uh, if not, uh, whatever, I'll pay, because, you know, what's the point in having this guy here, like expensive guy, and not be using that? Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll put some links below, some images showing what is the, the footage like. Uh, there are many videos on, on YouTube where you can find out about the same, very same thing. Uh, but yeah, I hope it's just uh, helpful, helpful to you. Thanks very much. See you next time.